one cannot be a Muslim if they do not believe in all of God's previous books and his messengers and prophets. Numerous prophets precede Prophet Muhammad, as do previous scriptures including the Gospel and the Torah. However, the messages of the past prophets are not available in their entirety as their original form was lost. The present day Bible and the Torah texts have been altered, distorted, and changed during the last centuries. So they contain the words of man, not the divine being. Since human hands have altered the older scriptures, the Bible and the Torah of today, as they are published currently, do not comprise their exact original texts in their pure, unfettered form. God sent Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, 600 years after the coming of Prophet Jesus, intending him as the world's last and final prophet, one sent with the final testament, the Holy Quran. Both were meant to serve all of mankind until the last day. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, did not come bearing a new religion. Rather, he came to correct and renew some deviations in monotheism during a time when the world lived in darkness. God the Almighty sent his final messenger to guide humanity to a better place in faith. Since the Holy Quran is the final testament of God the Almighty, God has taken it upon himself to safeguard and protect his final book for the good of humanity and from human-made alterations or any form of corruption. Indeed, it is we who sent down the Qur'an, and indeed, we will be its guardian. Qur'an 15.9 The laws of the Holy Qur'an now serve to abrogate all previous laws. The concept of one God is also expressed in Judaism. In Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4, it states, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our Lord, the Lord is one. The term Judaism is not found anywhere in the Torah, nor is the word Christianity found anywhere in the Bible. Nor did Prophet Jesus nor Moses even hear of these terms. The word Judaism was invented much later, originating from one of the sons of Jacob, peace be upon him, a man named Prophet Judah, who resided in the land of Judea. The term Christianity also was introduced much later and did not exist in the life of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Unlike Christianity and Judaism, the Holy Quran calls Islam the religion of God. Truly, the religion with Allah is Islam. Quran 319. If one were to ask all previous prophets, including Prophet Adam, Prophet Abraham, Prophet Moses, and Prophet Jesus, peace be upon them, about the substance of their religion, they would have answered that their worship find its basis in the submission to the one God, in other words, Islam. Islam is most literally the act of submitting fully to God. Islam truly is the oldest religion in the world. Islam is the only religion that God ever commanded humankind to follow. Islam, therefore, is the only religion acceptable to and ordained by God. Allah states in the Qur'an, And whoever sees a religion other than Islam, it will not be accepted of him, and in the hereafter, he will be one of the losers. Qur'an 385 Islam is the act of voluntary submission, surrender, and obedience to the will of God. The word Islam is derived from the Arabic root word which means peace, purity, safety, salutation, submission, acceptance, surrender, and obedience. With the act of submission, one would attain total peace within themselves in accordance with their creator and their fellow beings. The religion of Islam demonstrates that only through the doing of good and seeking of God's pleasure can one find true happiness, peace, and contentment in this life and in the hereafter. Islam spread more rapidly throughout the world than any other religion without the aid of military conquest. Within its first hundred years, Islam came to dominate the Middle East, Northern Africa, parts of Asia, and into Europe. Islam remains the largest growing religion in the world, in spite of all the negative publicity and wrongful actions of misguided extremists committed in the name of this faith. Now the faith boasts 1.8 billion followers, a number which equates 24% of the global population. Islam is not limited to one ethnicity or group of people. Muslims originate from a wide variety of ethnic backgrounds, races, cultures, and national origins. And although the world contains more Christians than Muslims, the religion that has the most followers actively practicing their faith in its rituals is Islam. The world boasts a higher percentage of Muslims practicing Islam than Christians practicing Christianity. Islam is projected to surpass Christianity around the year 2070 as the largest religious group.